So we're going to take a look at creating a website for the South Liberty Tool Rental Company. And I think you'll find this will be pretty close to what you need to do for the library project, uh, only instead of books or renting tools. So I like this design. I like a right logo and a left logo with some header text in the middle. Menu over here. I'll have a search box and then there will be a login status. My main body or my main text content will go in here and then I'll have a footer. I also like this because it is somewhat fluid. So as the screen size changes, it will also change. Now it probably won't go all the way down to mobile correctly, but it does allow for, for more, uh, more users, more portability. So I've mocked this up in HTML and I've created the CSS to make it fluid, to make everything work well. Uh, so now I want to go ahead and start working on getting it into ASP and get the project going. So in ASP, I've created a new empty website uh, using Visual Basic, using Framework 4.5.1. And this is what I end up with. I know I want to take advantage of master pages, so I'm going to go ahead and add the master page first. And I'm going to call mine tool rental master page. And now that it is set, as I add new pages, I can pick that as my master page. So as I add a default page, And as it sits right now, this will work fine. I can view it in the browser. Okay, so it's it seems to be working. Now, I want to add my styling and my divs and those kinds of things to the master page. Uh, so I could be working on that. While I'm working on that, other members of my group could go ahead and work on some of these other pages. If you put all of your content for a page here inside of Content Placeholder 1, then it will appear here in the master page while others are working on the actual content, someone could be working on the formatting of the master page, etc. So I'm going to take uh, advantage of cut and paste here uh, quite a bit uh, to make this go faster. First thing I want to do is create my divs uh, here on the, the tool rental master. And you can see I've pasted a lot of this in here now. Um, I've tried to, with a lot of divs, I've tried to use really good uh, coding practices here. So I'm trying to use good indentation. I'm trying to mark uh, when things are closed. I also uh, like to shrink things up. Makes it easier. Okay. So inside of my container div, I have a header container, I have a menu container, I've got the main, and I've got the footer. And inside of main is my content placeholder one. So this is where all the dynamic content from all the different pages will go. I'll save that up. And if I view this in the browser now, can see all of my contents in there that I was looking for, but it, there's no styling at all. So let me work on the styling now. I'll just leave the default name and I'll cut and paste my CSS for my prototype into here as well. And the last thing I need to do is link that style sheet to my master page. I need to do that in the head. 
Save everything up. Now let's view this in the browser. Okay, and here's my hello world content from my default page. And I can see all of these other things. Um, the styling's working correctly. It is somewhat fluid. Now, these colors are garish, but I've done it this way, so I can definitely tell uh, where my div is at, what div I'm in, those kinds of things. So I will go in, start populating all of these divs now, and clean up the color as I'm going along. Okay, put a couple of logos in there. Now let me see if I can get those logos onto my page. Remember I want to use the ASP image control. Also want to set the alternate text. And now that I have this, I can copy and paste. To the right logo. this up. Now let's view it in the browser. Okay, my logos are appearing where I'd like them to appear. Next piece, I'll try to get this header going. Here's my header text that I wanted to appear in the middle. And I've got a little bit of work here to do with the styling, it looks like. So now I have the header uh, formatted the way I would like. I have logos on each side and the text in the middle. And it is somewhat fluid. There is a point where it runs out but it does have more flexibility than it if it were everything were statically uh, specified. Um, to make those changes, I went in to the master page and I just set the height for each logo just for um, consistency. I did that on both the left and the right. I put the text in the middle. Uh, I did some formatting with breaks, which may not be a good idea, but uh, it worked for me. Then I went to the style sheet and I set the container to have a background color of blue with a border. And the container is just this. It's got the black border around it. It's all of it. And then that's a div, that's a div, and that's a div within that container. I set the left logo to be 15%. And I set the background color to transparent. So now the blue from the container will just show through. And I did the same thing for the right logo. 
And then for the header text, I set the width to 70%. The problem uh, that we have when we add padding uh, and any margins or anything like that in there, all of that gets added to the percentage and it ends up looking like this. So this is all the extra padding. And even though this is 15, 15 and 70 with the padding, it's those percentages plus the padding. So plus 20, 30 pixels to get rid of that and have the padding be included in that overall size. So I can do 15, 15 and 70. I'm going to use these commands, the box sizing border in my header text. And when I do that, it doesn't appear correct here, but when you view it in the browser, everything looks good in the browser. So now there's 15%, 15%, and that 70% in the middle includes all the padding. So now that that's done, I'll just take time and uh, set up my footer uh, and then create some um, uh, text in the middle there uh, for, uh, for content, and then I can start working on the menus. Here I've done a couple more things. I've actually put some content in for the default page and I've got my uh, footer set up. So on the master page, I just put content into the footer here. I included an ASP label and I'm going to stick the year in that label uh, so that I don't have to update the copyright statement every year. So I'll get into the VB page for master, a page load event, and then I'm just going to populate that label with the date time now, the year. I went to default and inside of content placeholder one here, I put in some content. And I ended up with this. So the next thing I'm going to work on uh, will be the menu, the search box, and this login status.